The AWS gauge, or Automatic Weld Size Gauge, performs several functions similar to the Cambridge gauge. With this gauge, you can measure actual fillet weld leg length, check concavity of a fillet weld, check permissible convexity, and measure weld reinforcement. To measure the actual fillet weld leg length, place the side of the gauge squarely against the side of the plate. Lower the gauge until the leg contacts the toe of the weld. Now, lower the slide until it contacts the other plate surface. The actual leg length is read from this scale. To check concavity of a weld, first verify the fillet weld size from specifications. In this case, a half inch fillet weld is required. On the gauge, use the max concavity scale and set the slide to a half inch. Now, place the gauge so that the 45 degree bevel rests squarely on the adjoining surfaces. If the slide does not come in contact with the weld, as in this example, the weld is structurally insufficient and more weld is required. To check convexity, first verify the fillet weld size from specifications. Again, in this case, a half inch fillet weld is required. On the gauge, use the max convexity scale and set the slide to a half inch. Now, place the gauge so that the 45 degree bevel rests squarely on the adjoining surfaces. In this example, the weld is within the permissible maximum convexity. Additional weld could possibly compromise the structural strength and integrity of the weld. Finally, you can use the AWS gauge to measure the reinforcement of a butt weld. Place one leg of the gauge on each plate and lower the slide to the top of the reinforcement. You can measure the permissible weld reinforcement from this scale. This reinforcement measures one eighth of one inch. This AWS gauge is available individually from GAL Gauge Company, or it is included in our complete set of gauges available in our briefcase type large tool kit.